Hello there, I'm painting a little nostalgic scene today with acrylics. It's called Christmas Cottage. And if you want to paint along, these are all the colours. Just to let you see, this is the sketch I'll be working from. So to start with, I've got my soft flat brush and I'm mixing up a muted yellow colour for the cottage. I think we'll go with that. I've already copied out a basic shape of the cottage from the sketch, so all I'm doing now is blocking it in. I'll probably give it a couple of coats. Grabbing some yellow ochre to lighten a few areas, mainly around the middle of each face. Okay, mixing up a darker shade now for the shadowy areas of the cottage. Along the top near the roofs. And around the sides of the cottage. Give it a wee blast with the old hairdryer. And we'll move on to a dark wintry sky. So I'll want a fairly dark blue to start with. Then grab some blue, blend it in, and I want to gradually lighten the sky as I move down the board, just by adding white. A touch of black for the very top of the sky. Just a wee skim, that's all. We can use the same muted blue for the snow shadow on the roof. Then begin to highlight it with white. Keep it nice and loose. A nice fluffy look as the snow would maybe be resting on a thatched roof. Alright, next we're going to tap in some indications of trees and bushes. So grab your favourite bristle brush and mix up a dark blue. And as a tip, make sure your brush is good and dry first. For the next set of trees, we're going to mix up some more muted yellow ochre.
throw in a, a layer of white around the base of the trees. Then we'll continue on with adding a few more bushes around the cottage and mid-ground. I'm adding a little colour to the bushes now with touches of cerulean blue just on its own here and there mixing up a snow shadow for the garden Highlight with white. And I want it to look like the snow's resting in tufts of grass. Some more blue shadow to bring out all those snowy tufts. Adding in some details now, some snow drifts along the bottom of the bushes. Let's get our chimneys in next. And for these, I'm using roughly the same colour as we used for the cottage. And while we're at it, let's give them a bit of character. So we don't want to paint them too straight. You can add a touch of white to your mix to highlight one side of the chimney breast. And this will give it a bit more of a three-dimensional look to it. Yellow ochre for the pots. This is the kind of cottage I'd like to live in. With a nice garden surrounded by trees and beyond these a quiet and peaceful rural landscape. Okay, starting off our windows with yellow ochre. These are all lit up this evening as everyone's busy in their rooms wrapping up Christmas presents. And it's Christmas Eve, so everyone's excited. It's been so cold today that they've had to light both their fires, and beside each one on the hearth is a big stack of logs. To add more character to a cottage, let's paint in a few decorative wood beams. And we'll have to put some snow resting on them. Orange and yellow ochre for the lower window light. followed by cadmium yellow for the light at the top of the windows. To add a nice weak glint in the window, a dab or two of cadmium yellow and white. To make things a little more Christmassy, let's paint in an oldie worldly lamppost. Yellow ochre for the lamp. Followed by a dot of cadmium yellow and white for the bulb.
For this mid-ground tree, I've simply used a dark yellow and black mix. Then added a little white to the mix for the snow clinging to the bark. Black for this next tree, which we've planted firmly in the foreground. A tree on the other side of the garden will help to balance the painting and frame the cottage nicely. And as you can see, I'm using a similar colour to the cottage to add some colour harmony. And down here I think we'll have a few tufts of grass poking up from the snow. We're going to create a path leading up to the cottage, but before that I want to paint in a wee step at the front door. Okay, yellow ochre and black again. And if I lived here, I'd like the path to run along in between these two trees. So that's just what I'm going to do. Maybe there's a small woodland here with lots of red squirrels running around. That would be pretty cool. White for the snow that was brushed to the side to clear the path. A few little heaps here and there. Okay, now that we've got our path in, let's paint a couple of figures walking along it. Again, I'm using Colour Harmony here by painting the man's coat blue to match the sky and cottage door. White with a little burnt sienna for his face and hand. And as he's walking along here, he's being very careful as there's a few icy patches, which we'll paint in in just a wee minute. Yellow ochre for his cap and woolly scarf. And that's him. And this is his little Jack Russell, who he just simply calls Jack. And Jack's eager to get in for a bite to eat and to warm himself by the fire. And after a big walk, who could blame him? And these are the icy patches I was talking about earlier. Let's paint in some falling snow, because after all, it is Christmas Eve. To show the window light on the snow outside, I've mixed a little orange in with white. Well, I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I've given you some tips and ideas for your own paintings. So until the next time, take care and have a great Christmas.